Hey guys, Colesnet here, and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of the Gobbles. Yeah, Legend of the Gobbles. No, no, we don't know the name of the main guy. It's just Legend of the Gobbles. Oh, God damn it, mouse pointer. Did I forget to move my mouse? Did I forget? I forgot to move my mouse. There's just a lovely, shiny mouse pointer right in the center of the screen. That's awesome. Anyway, oh, no, I thought I'd gone there. Blended in with the crystals, I couldn't see it. But, uh, anyway, uh, it's been a while since I put up a croc. Let's put up a croc. I'm actually, I'm feeling today like recording all the commentary for all the croc and just putting it up. At least maybe not all of it. Maybe a few videos and putting a few of them up. And then maybe getting onto some recording some Dark Chronicle, I think. And that's probably the way I'm going to go today. Get some stuff done. I'm just going to start uploading lots of videos and trying to get a lot done. Uh, I mean, it's not as if I really do all else for my day. I mean, job hunt for, like, job hunt for a bit and then... Once you're out of jobs to apply for, there's not really much else you can do with the day. I'm out of new games to play. Uh, I finished Shoot Nuka Forever, a thousand did. So that's like three times of game played, and so I'm a bit sick of it. Uh, you know how it is, yeah. Anyway, talking about Croc. This level, I like this level. Leap of Faith, I do like this level. Uh, it's a bit dangerous, the entire level is... Pretty much the entire level is set on loose platforms over a deep chasm of death. And, uh, well, that could be a bit dangerous, uh, surprisingly enough. It's also a very short video, this one. It's probably why I'm going to upload a couple more today. Uh, or at least trying them up today, being the 15th of June, for anyone interested. Uh, basically, this is only a short one, because the next video gets a bit screwed over, in terms of editing. Uh, this video is just this level. I believe. I think it is, just this level. Uh, but, um, what happens? Uh, basically, the next level after this... I died, so the recording I had for it, obviously I started, I recorded it again without dying, and then I died again. So then, I just cut back to, other, I, I'll, I'll explain it in the next video, but anyway. Anyway, obviously this part, you know, we got to got some more platforms, got to make the platforms appear below the boxes, otherwise you will drown that gobbo, and you don't want to drown a gobbo. Why would you want to drown a gobbo? What is wrong with you? I mean, yeah, you might want to drown a gobbo. Sometimes it is nice to play it evil on a playthrough. I, I for one, like... Playing an evil playthrough, but I always play a good playthrough. I'm, 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 a, I'm a good playthrough at, at, at heart. I always do the good first and then the evil. But, you know. Hey, look at the moral discussion we've got going. Good versus evil. Black versus white. There's a fly in my room. Go away, fly. Shoo, fly, don't bother me. Shoo. God, I hate summer. <laughs> I really do. I really hate summer. Summer's just annoying. There's flies, and there's spiders and everything seems to be you know sunny and warm it's just i'm sounding like a right pessimistic bastard in this episode aren't i but no no I, I, actually i don't know what this switch over here does and i don't think i ever find out unless it makes some sort of platform up here i just don't see it because you stand on it, it makes a noise listen like something's appeared and i spend about a minute like what what's appeared something appeared what's the noise mate and, and i can't have the life of me rem I see it, I'm like, what's appeared? Nothing. Nothing has appeared. Huh. So I move on. And die. See, this is the problem with this level, you know, and one mistake with the jump and you're pretty much screwed, uh losing a life. And obviously the game over means you have to pretty much complete these levels jump perfect. I mean actually I have decided after playing for obviously I play through the game fully now. I've decided that World 3 is the hardest world of the game. Definitely 100% the hardest world. That was just fail. What happened there? What happened there? Um, getting a bit nervous now. I've only got one life left. I remember my heart was like pumping. Pumping. Don't jump! Uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, World 3 is the hardest level. Longest levels. Super tough. There is one level in World 4 that is evil. And the rest are alright, actually. Surprisingly enough, World 4 isn't that bad. And World 5 can be a bit evil in a few of its jumps, but it's not, 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 nothing too intense, nothing too terrible. So, World 3 definitely takes the trophy as hardest world in crop. Congratulations, round of applause. Well done. Um, I don't know what it is about. It's just... It's just tough. The levels are long as backtracking. Oh, it's just... It's, it takes a lot. Anyway, in this section, by the way, two of these boxes have one has a gobble, one has a crystal, and two of them have crystal, just normal crystals in. And I can't remember which, so I just got them all. 
Uh, you know, you know. Wait, waste not, want not. Waste not, want not. Let's explore every nook and cranny of this game. This is an awesome game. I did recently acquire Croc 2, but I've yet to get it working. It's uh, just the, P it's the PC version. And uh, there's a lot of compatibility issues, obviously. P PC games sometimes can be quite annoying for me. It's probably why I don't play them as much or, like, try to <laughs> play some of the older ones. Because compatibility issues arise very easily, especially now on Windows 7. I mean, if with Windows Vista was problems, but Windows 7 is just a few more, more advanced. Um, but, uh, you know, what is it? What is it? Oh, Sega, I have Sonic CD uh, at home somewhere. And uh, it's just, it's annoying that I don't think there's a patch and stuff to fix it to play. But I've never got it to work. I've tried my hardest, never got it to work. And it's really gutting because Sonic CD is. It, it's not. It's the, mm, I'd say, I'm going to say it's the best 2D Sonic. Here we go. I said it. It's out there. Uh, while I like Sonic 2 and Sonic 3 and Knuckles are good. Sonic's there's something about Sonic City, especially the whole past and future mechanic. I really like that mechanic. I'm a sucker for time travel, as you know. So for me, it is the best 2D Sonic. It's got like Metalix in. Uh, yes, Metalix. None of this Metal Sonic crap. I'm Metalix. I'm Sonic the he Sonic the Comic Fleetway all the way through. Um, but we'll get to that. I was actually thinking of LP and Sonic. Uh, I'm actually thinking of just sitting down and LPing an entire game in a day and then just uploading it and taking a break for a few days and then coming back. Uh, I don't know, it's, just, it's just a lot to be uploading a day. I mean, I don't want, I mean, I don't have a lot of people subscribe. I have like nearly 100 subscribers, I think. I think I have like 96, which is good. But my views are like, I think the highest views I get is like 3, so. <laughs> I should probably do something more popular, more, more, something more recent. I was thinking of doing Link's Awakening. Because that recently came out on the Nintendo eShop, 3DS eShop thing. So, and that's a very good game, very good game. And I know, I, I know everything. I pretty much know everything about that game, and I could fly through that pretty quickly, pretty quickly. Uh, no speed running. I don't know what the longest speed run is for Legend of Zelda. Uh, something like it's pretty damn quick. I mean, I bet there's one with. Oh, by the way, take the right path there. Don't take any other path. Otherwise, it'll take forever. Um. I don't know what speed time. So uh, part of me wants to say someone's done it in an hour, but part of me also wants to say that was with the screen jump. There's a there's a trick where you can screen jump, which basically means you skip the entire thing and fall off the other side of the screen, so you can sort of glitch your way into the end of dungeons to get the final things and hack containers and stuff like that. Uh, I think there is a way to glitch yourself into the wind egg. So it's uh, which is the final boss. But yeah, that's. You know, you wanna, this is unusual for this one. You've got to use the key to unlock a button to get to the gobble. But again, you're still racing to just the key, so you can just stay ahead of the ghost. You'll be fine. Get to the key first. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this part. Uh, it's a short part, I know, but I'm probably gonna upload a couple today, so you'll see them all. Uh, just, just some editing issues. But anyway, uh, it's been Cole said. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip side.